Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News. And today, guys, I want to show you how to disable the lock from the Windows 7 shutdown button using group policy uh, from your domain controller. So you can push out this policy to all your machines on the floor. Now, uh, if you want to stop your users being able to select the lock option from the Windows 7 power button via group policy, this is the way that you guys do it. Uh, you want to enter into your domain controller. I'm in my domain controller right now. Uh, let's go to start run and you guys want to type in gpmc.msc hit ok and that command is basically going to open up your group policy manager now you gotta pick the organization and group of where you want this group policy to be pushed out on the last video I showed you guys how to do the disable sleep option there should be an annotation somewhere around this video so you guys can click on check that out so what we're going to do is right click and we want to create a new GPO and let's give it a name we're gonna do is disable lock option and we're gonna press OK once you create your group policy you wanna right click and you wanna edit I'm going to expand this and the section that you wanna navigate is you wanna go into your computer configuration you wanna go into preferences Windows settings and within Windows settings you want to go into the registry yes we're gonna create a registry for this so you want to right click go to new and we want to create a registry item yes so the action that you want to do is create okay the hive is actually the local machine so by default this is what you see so you can leave it now the key path you can actually click here and those little three dots right here will bring this and you can navigate to this now again you're going to the the local machine within local machine you want to go into software within software you want to locate Microsoft within Microsoft you want to locate Windows let's locate Windows where are you Windows within Windows you want to go into current version and within current version I believe we want to go into the policies and, I, and it's one more we need to get into in and systems we're gonna press select awesome and the value name that you want to do is disable with a capital D lock capital L workstation okay so the first letters are capitalized everything is together so it's disable lock workstation the value type is going to be a reg D word and the value data is going to be a one once you completed all that your base is going to be a decimal you're going to hit apply you're going to press OK and that's it guys we're going to close this up and if you want to force it you want to force this GPO to your organizational group just right click and force and that's about it now you can either reboot the clients or wait a couple of hours or manually run a GP update for slash force on all your machines on your floor. <laughs> Most likely you guys want to just wait a couple of hours. But if you guys have a domain controller that's Windows Server 2012, you can force all your computers on your OU to refresh the group policy. That's one of the cool things that 2012 does as a domain controller. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, this how to disable your lock. Uh, from your Windows 7 shutdown button using a group policy within your domain controller which is a cool thing to do and uh, if you have any comments or questions please leave them at the bottom of the video at the comment section uh, and don't forget about hitting that like button I catch you guys later peace out